If you search for wind on YouTube, what do you think the most viewed video is going to be? What do you think the top result by number of views will be? Well, I'm going to let you know about that and about another video to do with winds because today we're talking about change and how to spot winds of change. And we're going to ask the cards about this and we're going to talk about it. So stick around for today's episode of Life Spotlight Buffet. I'm John Paulus. Thanks for joining me. All right, you ready for the top video under the search wind on YouTube? You can try this yourself. It's Wind of Change, which is a song from 1991, I believe, is when it was recorded. And it's by a German rock band called Scorpions. And it's all about the events, really, of 1989 and uh, the fall of the Berlin Wall and um, things related to the whole situation around around that and in terms of global relations. And it's a very a moving song, and it's a very popular song. It has a billion views. The second most popular song, which is, uh, you know, as I said in that video a few weeks ago, music videos are far and away the only way, really, if to get billions of views you know one billion views you could probably get it on some video that's not a music video will achieve a billion views but in terms of billions of views it's gonna you're gonna have to it's gonna have to be a music video and a music video with animation made for kids that's like that's you know the top obviously we know baby shark etc related videos those are going to be the, t- the top ones because, you know, those are going to get played over and over and over again. The second most popular video for the search wind in terms of views is Earth, Wind, and Fire, September. I think that's the name of the song. It's that song. Um, uh, no, I'm not going to sing it, but I'll put it, in the, I'll put it in the description along with the Scorpions song, Wind of Change. It's Wind of, Ch- wind of Change, not Winds of Change. But uh, the Earth, Wind, and Fire song is, well, it's about September 21st, really. Now, what, why it's about September 21st, you're just going to have to listen to the video and think about it. Uh, spoiler alert, the video is not going to tell you quite why. <laughs> but it's a great song, and you should definitely listen to it. It'll be in the description anytime you want to take a look. Okay. So, for today, since we're talking about wind of change, we want to know how do we spot change? How can we get ahead of the game in terms of change? What are the indicators of this? What are some ways to really kind of get Uh, take a deep dive into what changes are happening that we may not be aware of and find out and make ourselves aware of those changes. That is really important. I mean, and very rare, as we know. But we're going to talk today about how to go about doing that, how to be aware of changes that are taking place. You know, you know how it happens where you don't realize the changes are taking place. And then when you realize it's too late because the changes are already taking place. So, OK, so let's try to get ahead of that change. And I will give the cards a shuffle. We'll ask the cards about this change. Cards, be ready to talk about change. I'll be ready. So I'm going to do three casual shuffles. Mm, two. Oops. Three. And then I'm going to do a great big shuffle. See if these cards can get mixed up together. All right. Okay. So now we look for the gap in the cards. There it is right there. Okay. I'm going to pull this card out right now. It's card 37, the third time's a charm. This is a great exercise, and this is a uh, this is a really good this is a really good thing to talk about for change. I gotta say, thanks, cards, because the third time's a charm is really understanding that when you 
off the top of your head, say three things that are going to, um, that you want to do. The third thing is often the priority, and the first two you're kind of just kind of getting warmed up. So this is going to be how we're going to find out about that change. Because what what this says is, I mean, yesterday I was talking a little bit about the back of our minds and the front of our minds and work. Remember, because the card was about thinking about your work life as a pie. And I talked about how everything you do during the day is work, right? You give energy and effort to it, no matter what it is, because you're doing stuff. And that is true also for the back of your mind when you're asleep. That other part of your day, the the back of your mind has a full-time job. It's working things out always. Well, this card is a good example of how to kind of access the back of your mind in a conscious sense uh, because that third thing that you're going to say, it'll just like come out and it won't be... Um, It'll just be something back there. Once you clear out the things that are at the top of your mind, then something from the back of your mind that's really important can come out. So, okay, so let's think about three things. I'm thinking about uh, oranges. Okay, it's because I just had an orange. It was uh, Cara Cara oranges, good. So, okay, so that's, um, that was the first thing I thought of. And then the second thing I thought about was Salvador Dali. I've been trying to do with the... Um, with the title cards for the videos, I've been doing kind of my surrealist takes on the topics that I'm talking about. Uh, so you'll notice that in the video about time, there's a kind of warped um, uh, t- a timer, uh, like a sand, uh, sand uh, timer, an egg timer. What do you call those things? You know, uh, the where the sand goes down in the time. You know, there's sand on top and then the sand's on the bottom. What on earth are those called? Oh, yeah, hourglasses, right. Okay, so it's an hourglass, but it's kind of, I'll use the word warped. That's such a non-surrealist way of thinking about it. It's a, it's a, it's a um, surreally formed hourglass. It's what an hourglass looks like in surreality. So that, and then I, for pie, I did the same thing. And then today, I have a wind sock that's a, a, um, you know, that measures the, the the speed and direction of wind. Well, you get a sense of the speed and direction of wind based on the, the wind sock. Um, you know, they're common in airports and other places where people need to know um, at a glance what the direction and the, and the uh, speed of the wind is. And so, okay, so that's, that's, those are my first two things. Now we're still on the the third time is the charm. I, honestly, I thought about a mixer. Um, I you know, so I'm thinking of like a common brand of these would be Cuisinart. Now Cuisinart has not paid for this, so this is not an advertisement. So I will not say anything about Qu- Cuisinart, but that's that's the brand of mixer that I happen to think of. Oh, also KitchenAid makes them. KitchenAid makes ones as well. I won't say anything about that. KitchenAid again. If listen, if Cuisinart or KitchenAid, if you want to pay for this episode, please do. But okay, so the mixer, I like a mixing bowl. That's what I thought of, and that is um, what came up into my mind about change and what is going to be the difference coming up is you know i think this has to do a lot with like something to do with marketing and branding and well something to do with the way this year things are going to get really hyped up in terms of particular niche items and that's a change that we're going to see where it's going to just be unexpected and things are going to be like really popular. And I think we're already starting to see that in the case of there's a thermos right now that just like yesterday all of a sudden was really popular um, because of TikTok, I believe, or some such uh, social media craze. But I think we're going to see that 
a lot more this year, and I think it's going to reach a pitch of um, uh, activity this year where we're going to see on various um, social uh, sites and in the digital form and of various types, we're going to see a lot of crazes around particular items, especially household items, household items. Uh, that's why I thought of the mixer. And it, those things are gonna; those crazes are gonna be sparked, and they're gonna be uh, they're gonna spike, and then they'll uh, decline. So I think that's the thing to look out for now is uh, household items that are going to be um, all of a sudden um, hot items, and that's something we're gonna see a lot more this year than we've seen in the past. And that's what how the the winds are blowing. That's what that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so. What did you come up with? Give yourself a chance to do this. Say three things that come to mind after asking yourself, which way are the winds of change blowing? And it might be about your life. It might be about the world. It might be about something else. But nonetheless, you're going to learn something about something in the back of your mind that's really important and that needs to be in the front of your mind. Uh, The back of our minds are really smart. And if we just let them move on up to the front of our minds, it's a very powerful thing. And it's really liberating. And Salvador Dali would appreciate that. And I just know that you will too. (laughs) 